Hey guys, another episode of my prep going into my last show of the season. Thought I would do something slightly different here, give you a brief background of what's been going on with me and what's led me to this point in my life, as well as some training footage like usual. Um, so, going into this week, I'm starting to step it up a little bit um, in that I'm again increasing my volume and intensity. Uh, lower back is starting to feel decent again, so excited about that. Stoked about moving some weight again. Um, what I'm going to show in this video is just some photos of what happened to me when I broke my back and neck and a bunch of other stuff and a motorcycle accident I was in um, February 2012. At that point I was in my off season and making good progress and the accident was actually on a Thursday and that Saturday I was planning on competing in a, in a powerlifting meet. So what happened was I was cruising down the road and a guy pulled out in front of me and I try and stop but in a pit in his car. Um, I was doing about 40. Luckily I was wearing a helmet. Um, that helmet was destroyed pretty much. Um, so I ended up breaking my uh, or fracturing my C6 and my neck and then uh, completely fractured my T3 and 4 and then partially fractured my T5 and I'll show some photos here in a moment of what that looks like but essentially I was completely useless for about three months just trying to walk again um, and again I'll, as the, the photos go I'll, I'll explain what's going on so um, here is my motorcycle I was riding pre or post crash um, all the fairings got completely ripped off, um, the front forks got completely bent back, the back of the bike was shattered. What actually happened was I laid the bike down but the bike caught just right where it spun me into the car. Um, if my bike looked like that you can imagine what I look like. So here is a photo of one of the x-rays. Um, again, they fused T1 through 5 in my back, um, which means that they took two rods and ten screws and drilled them into my vertebrae. Um, the discs in those areas were completely destroyed anyways, so that was that. I'm actually about an inch shorter than what I was prior to the accident. Short people problems. And then here is a photo uh, post-surgery. So, it's kind of funny, the one thing I was thinking about when I was in the hospital, and the first question I asked the doctor, not what, if I would ever walk again, but if I would ever lift again. I know it seems really bro, but at, again, at the time, it was very important to me. Um, here's a photo of my mom uh, feeding me. <laughs> I was actually, uh, I dislocated my shoulder and fractured the base of my skull. So I had a lot of swelling to the point where I couldn't even lift my arms. And I also broke four ribs in the process. All right, there's a before and after photo of the scar. And here is a photo of me walking with my walker. Um, each day I would just try and walk a little further um, than I did prior, you know, the day prior to that. Um, Starting off it was a few feet and then eventually I was able to walk to the end of the block and then eventually around the block and then without my walker and then a few miles and so on and so forth. Um, so going into the November show, I actually notated or stated in the, the beginning of the week on Facebook that I wasn't doing it and the reason being is due to our new house being built um, and the financial I don't want to say financial burden but just obviously a lot of our money is tied up in that so I was actually getting ready to not do it because of that and Tyler stepped up and he knew that the November show was really important to me and dieting 27 weeks uh, he wanted to ensure I did it so 
he's actually helping me out with that as as pretty much like a sponsorship so very very stoked to have a good friend like him and mentor and coach um and then these next photos i'm going to post um or show are of my the progress i've made during um or going into this last show compared to the show i did in 2011 um left is 2011 right is this past weekend um the overall size i've put on my body is is there um legs are up glutes are up back arms actually arms are about the same size um i was able to maintain size again i've been powerlifting so haven't had a, a lot of direct arm work anyways that's it for this one. I will continue sharing more of my story in the next videos, but I will catch you guys on Sunday and Monday. Later.